Okay, so this is our little homemade project, roundhouse. I'm going to start with just telling you the basic design of this place, how we did it. It's kind of built as we went along. We started with this tin pole stood up in the air, and we started at for two foot square, six inch deep footings for each pole, which is overkill in this ground because it's a hard packed ground, but it would probably work for anywhere. And we stood tin poles upright. And then put poles across, that's your basic frame. You can see how we joined them here and just lag bolted the poles down in. And that created the basic framework of it. And then you have 10 poles that are on each pole that go up to the middle, which we can show you inside here, how they come up. So the 10 poles come up to this centerpiece which is, you can't buy these yet. I had my brother, the fabricator, he made this for me. You can find a metal fabricator. That, this one's made out of aluminum. And that was one of the more spendy parts of this. Well, it was $150 worth of just the metal. He said he could make them for $600. Not trying to push it yet and want to make them, but that's what a fabricator might charge you for that. And then, then besides the 10 main poles, you have these center poles here in the middle of each one that come halfway up. And those are for counterbalance because once the 10 poles go out, they're, they're too wide on the ends to support the middle of the roofing. So these counterbalanced middle poles go out to help support your outside, which you don't have to have. We put a three foot overhang on this because we want it to be, have a wraparound deck covered. You could, you could shorten this up which would save money. And if you shorten it up you probably wouldn't need the center poles to counterbalance. So we did that first, the main structure. And then I put the floor in with these beams. I put another two foot two foot center piece in the, in the middle of the structure there's a two foot square concrete footing that these four by six beams go all the way in and came out so the deck is kind of it's a freestanding deck which is nice you don't have to have a lot of support so those came out and these are four by six is going in between the poles here and then i just framed in the rest of it with, with two by six so basically a really simple structure then for the walls i just framed in with two by fours plywood on and then you can put whatever siding you want okay. when you put two by fours up against a round log like this it's these aren't perfect poles these poles I cut myself um, because we live out in the country and there's a lot of trees but um spray foamed in between each pole for insulation then there's in the floor, I put inch and a half rigid insulation. The main expense was the treated beams for underneath and the car decking on the ceiling. The poles I kept myself, so that wasn't that much. And then our roof, we're putting a living roof on this. So it has a rubber roof on it. It's by, by Carlisle. I'm not pushing their product. That's very expensive roof. If I were to do it again, I would probably just use pond liner, which I think is the same thing. It would have been a lot cheaper. But you can put any kind of roof you want. You could put composition, whatever you wanted. And as far as the windows go and the doors, it's all salvage stuff. You got this door for 20 bucks. It's a nice thermal pane wooden door. I had to cut it cut it down because we shortened the height on this for looks. But you know, you can pick up doors like this at at Habitat for Humanity or whatever. And the windows are just that's a five dollar garage sale window, but it's a beautiful old window. It's even got the old wavy glass in it. And it's a cedar window, it was painted, I sanded it down, it's just a beautiful window, but it's five dollars. And these big windows are just plate glass. This is a $20 piece of glass. You can have it cut in any glass place. And I just 
framed it in and trimmed it out. So the windows didn't cost as much. The stained glass window over here, that was... I don't know what she paid for that. Maybe, how much she paid for that stained glass? 100 bucks? Yep, I just had to park in front of it at the right time from the store. But yeah, that was a $100 window. And the other stained glass windows I've held on for years, just yeah. waiting for the right place to put them in. And uh, the dome, we ordered the dome separate. I built my own frame around it and they just ordered the plastic dome and set it on there. It's a little dusty now because this is work in progress. But. And the wood stove, cook stove, we picked that up for 300 bucks. But the, which is not bad, but the, the piping that is going to cost you that anywhere. That was almost a thousand dollars for a special adapter and the piping for the to go out the top of that in the box. And tile. And then the cedar on the walls, it's a cabin grade cedar, which we can get here fairly cheap. It's 30 cents a lineal foot, which is really cheap. We use it on the floor, which is really soft for flooring, but it makes a beautiful floor and we plan on people taking their shoes off in here anyway. But, um, I don't know what else to say. We're still, we're, this wall's been bare thing. We're slowly bare thing and everything on the floor and the ceiling. But we just got to that point because winter's just getting over. How much would you say this all costs? All together, materials, insulation, not counting the roof, I'd say we got maybe $6,000 worth of materials into it. 